Welcome to Digital Tech Reviews and Tips Guys. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Mac. Um, I'm doing this one on a Mac Pro Retina 13 inch. However you can do this on any Mac computer out there. So yeah let's get right to it. The first thing you're going to want to do is hit the power button and that will power up your computer. The nice Mac power sound or whatever. Power on sound. I wonder who actually designed that. You could probably Google that get that information if you want to. But anyways, first thing you see is the white screen with the Apple logo. Little turning wheel comes up letting you know that it's working. And do 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 do. Eventually we'll get the first screen. Here it comes up. Now the first screen you're going to get is asking you what language. Um yeah, so choose your language here. It's going to prompt you to use English for the main language. Press the return key like that and yeah that this is actually what confused me because it tells you to press the return key here but then I next on the next screen I try to press the return key and it doesn't work so and it worked in like intermittently throughout these screens here anyways I pa pass through the select your country uh, um, select your keyboard or yeah mouse setup and now I'm on the Wi-Fi network Basically what you do here is if you have a Wi-Fi network, select it, type in your password. If you don't, uh, or if you're going to be using a wired connection, there are also options in the um, other network settings or whatever. And as you see here, I also hit the enter key and it didn't work. So yeah, you have to click here and it's connecting. And eventually once it gets through, now you can. here's the option where you can transfer information from an old Mac or a PC to your new computer I chose not to. On this step you're going to enable uh, location services if you want to or not if you don't want to. I chose to enable it. Now comes to the step where uh, this is you just sign in with your Apple ID. You get to use iCloud which is a nice service if you have a lot of Apple products. Um, you also get to use uh, the App Store, iTunes. Really it's essential. If you have, own a Mac you almost have to have an Apple ID. Now here's the terms and conditions. Who needs those really guys? I mean I don't think anyone reads those at all. Um, now you set up iCloud with that click or enter key and you set up your messaging and FaceTime with this click. Um, you can choose to use uh, the find my Mac thing and I chose to use that in case I lose my computer. This step is where you create your computer account uh, one thing I forgot to do in this step actually is choose a pick. I usually go for the record or the piano, I'd, but you can change that after if you don't set it to the right thing. Because I don't really, I'm not a bald eagle type of person. So yeah, um, it's going to create your account here. And next step is you want to select your time zone. Uh, I was actually going down to select my time zone when I realized that there was a new feature they had, which is it um, automatically will find where you are and put in that time zone so that's pretty cool and yeah then you just register your product check the little box off and continue now with this click you unleash the power yeah a little dramatic there guys <laughs> but now your new Mac Pro or Mac Mini Mac iMac whatever Mac 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 attack it's going uh, there it is, all good to run. You see the little update thing did pop up in the top, but I'll get to that in a second. You should have Wi-Fi if you connected to the Wi-Fi. See, Safari works. You're right on the Apple site. Up has your start page. You can change that later. Google that if you don't need know how. But yeah, as I was saying, you do have some updates probably if you just set up your computer. Um, so iPhoto and iMovie are right there for me to update. If I'd waited a little longer. Uh, and I found it after I finished this video. Um, the operating system, that's what it was trying to uh, check for. And there was an update for the operating system. So yeah, guys, uh, that's about it. You know, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, it's a pretty easy process, but sometimes you need some help getting through it. Um, yeah, subscribe, comment down below, Facebook or Twitter, like the video. And yeah, that's really about it, guys. Hope you have a nice day. Peace out. Bye.